This one adds the convenience that you don't have to take creatine separately. So you're getting your daily dose of creatine and protein, uh, making this optional, uh, optimal for post-workout. What's up everybody, G here, VP of Content, Here today for a review, we are looking at a legacy brand, Muscle Tech Nitro Tech Elite. Uh, they have several different proteins. This is their post-workout uh, Nitro Tech. This is more than just a protein. It's basically a whey protein iso with a little bit more added to it. We'll get into that. So yeah, let's not uh, waste your time. Let's get into the taste, mixability, profile, effectiveness, uh, value, and let you know if we liked it or not. Let's go. Starting off with the profile, we're gonna go by the one scoop serving size. Uh, we think that'll be sufficient for everybody. If you use two scoops of this, uh, it might be a little bit uh, too expensive for people. So we're going by the most practical way. Uh, to take this in our opinion. So this is a whey protein isolate product. Whey protein isolate is a little bit more filtered out than your typical whey protein concentrate. There are benefits and some drawbacks. You do uh, denature it a little bit. Uh, however, you do have less lactose, less cholesterol. So overall, you have technically a cleaner whey, just a little bit filtered out. WPI is actually good for people that have uh, stomach issues, especially when it comes to whey protein concentrate or if they're uh, sensitive to lactose. There's virtually no lactose in here. So with that said, <clears throat> with that said let's look at the macros quickly. One scoop gives you half a gram of fat, uh, three grams of carbs, uh, two of them sugar, and 30 grams of protein. You also get some vitamin D in here. That's good, actually leaner or on par with many other whey protein isolates on the market. 30 grams is actually higher than the average, uh, what, 20 to 24 to 25 that you see. Uh, it doesn't make a big difference, just thought I'd point that out. Uh, so it's, that's where it would end on many protein powder products, but uh, this one actually has three separate blends afterwards. Uh, to make this a little bit more geared towards post-workout recovery. So right after that, we have the Muscle Strength and Growth Complex. This is creatine monohydrate at three grams and my HMB, this is calcium uh, HMB, at 1.5 grams. Uh, creatine monohydrate, the most proven ingredient in sports nutrition, I guess next to caffeine if you wanna uh, nitpick at it. Creatine works great. It is uh, helps with ATP production. Proven help with just about everything. Uh, most people think of it as strength and recovery even. Three grams is a solid dose. As for the HMB, you get 1.5 grams. Uh, we're not big on HMB here. Uh, it may help with recovery just a little bit in here, but 1.5 grams is fine. Uh, we could do without it. Um, doesn't hurt the product either way. To put it simply, it is a metabolite of leucine and it may help with recovery. There are studies on it. Try looking it up for yourself and deciding. We personally don't, uh, we're not in love with it. We just don't see it as a bad addition to this product, especially for what it's going for. Next up, we have the recovery amplifier. This is essentially Nordic Cherry, 250 milligrams per scoop. Uh, this is a source of antioxidants, parenthesianidins, uh, for example. This can help with recovery. There's some good studies on it. Uh, it's good anti-inflammatory. You want 500 milligrams, which you would get in two scoops. Uh, 250 milligrams, uh, not the actual you know, uh, 500 milligrams that you want. Still, 250 milligrams is not bad over time. It should help to some degree. Uh, we prefer 500 milligrams, but this is a one-two scoop product. So following that, we have the advanced digestive support, prohydrolase. This is a source of protease as well as bromelain. Uh, these are digestive enzymes going to help with digesting the protein, make it easier on your stomach. And the bromelain actually has some anti-inflammatory benefits. So for, overall, the profile looks good. As a post-workout, we like the Nordic Cherry. We like the creatine. Um, yes, you could just take whey protein isolate and creatine uh, separately. Still, for convenience sake, this looks like a good option for that. And again, the extra antioxidants is a nice addition. HMB might help. And the bromelain and digestive enzymes can certainly don't hurt it at all. So profile looks good. Uh, how did it work? Let's find out. So really, it's hard to judge a protein powder, uh, the effectiveness of them, because it's not like a miracle supplement. It's mainly there to as a convenient source of protein. Just eat as a convenient source of food. This one adds the convenience that you don't have to take creatine separately. So you're getting your daily dose of creatine and protein, uh, making this optional, uh, optimal for post-workout. You can say uh, creatine, you can take whenever you want. There are some studies saying it may be better post-workout, but we still say any time of the day, is fine. Still, it's all very convenient and it does help with getting you uh, extra protein in your day. You're not going to notice extraordinary uh, recovery from this, we're not going to lie. Uh, no better than any other whey protein isolate product on the market. Uh, recovery comes out in a lot of things, your sleep, your diet. This can certainly just give you that instant, uh, you know, protein dose that a lot of us look at, look for post-workout. So overall, good in effectiveness, uh, really hard to judge that one still. You can rate the effectiveness also, almost forgot, on the digestibility. This is a whey protein isolate with digestive enzymes. 
This is going to digest fine. You shouldn't have any issues unless you're really, really, really sensitive to uh, dairy. Now we get to taste. We have the Belgian chocolate ice cream. Uh, it is a good chocolate. It's not our favorite chocolate ever. However, it's still like on par with many of the good ones out there. I think we gave it about an 8.6 or so uh, on our site. It has a little bit of like a, I want to say coconut background to it or something else is in the background. It's actually quite delightful, I guess would be the right word but it's not like uh, among the best chocolates we had out there, but still a very good one at that. So good job there, Muscle Tech knows how to flavor stuff. Uh, now we get into the mixability. Not really much to say here. It mixes very well. There's really not much we can complain about. It's a whey protein isolate, so it's not gonna mix up very thick. Um, the only thing that we kind of marked off like 0 .2, 0 0.2 off, I think, whatever it was, is there's a very, very, very slight grit to it. Could be because of the creatine or some of the other ingredients. Uh, barely noticeable. Um, more water would solve this issue anyway. But yeah, mix is fine, comparable to many proteins out there. No clumping. Let's move on to value. Okay, so you can get a tub of NitroTech uh, Elite directly from the MuscleTech website for about $39.99. Coupon code informant saves you 50% off. So you're getting about $1.47 per serving if you use it that way. Now, if this were just a whey protein isolate, we'd say nah, there's better options out there, uh, more affordable options, but you are getting, you have to consider that you're getting extra in here. The creatine monohydrate, nah, HMB, whatever, but the Nordic Cherry, as well as the digestive enzymes, you are getting a high quality source of protein with extras, your daily dose of creatine monohydrate. Still slightly more expensive than other options, but not bad by any means. We've seen protein powders a lot more expensive than this. So value is more than fair. Uh, nice job, Muscle Tech there. So yeah, overall, Muscle Tech Nitro Tech Elite, solid option. If you want something post-workout that'll get you your daily dose of creatine and may have some anti-inflammatory benefits, this one might be a good option. Uh, you could also just take whey protein isolate and creatine monohydrate separately. Um, but that's up to you. We like it for the convenience. The taste is good, mixability is good. Value is fair, especially for the convenience factor. So yeah, uh, worth trying out if you want, if you're interested, if you like muscle tech, and we're enjoying the tubs that we got. Uh, if you want more info on this, be sure to check out the website or get more views or get more in depth. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our website, follow us on IG, and as always, we